Good day everyone, my name is Glenmark Arkin Kileria. As you all know, today I am going to talk to you about Sternberg's successful intelligence theory. But first, let's get to know who is Robert Jeffrey Sternberg. Robert Jeffrey Sternberg, American psychologist and psychometrician, born in New Jersey on December 9, 1949. After suffering test anxiety and doing poorly on an exam, he realized that the test was not an accurate of his actual knowledge and abilities. Sternberg served as the president of the American Psychological Association in 2003. In 2013, he voluntarily resigned as president of the University of the Ewing after having held the office for only four months. Sternberg's Successful Intelligence Theory Sternberg, 2005, argued that in order for a person to be successfully intelligent, he must have the following Ability to achieve one's goal in life, given one's sociocultural context Ability to capitalize on strengths and correcting or compensating for weaknesses Ability to adapt to shape and select environments and ability to combine analytical, creative, and practical abilities. Sternberg 1997 also stated that to be a successful intelligent person, one must have combined and balanced the three abilities, analytical, creative, and practicality. Moreover, he instilled that successful intelligence people don't just have abilities. They reflect on when and how to use these abilities effectively. Robert Sternberg, an American psychologist, gave his famous triarch theory of intelligence as an extension of his previous theory of emotional and practical intelligence. The triarchic theory covers three facets or sub-theories regarding the three processing components which make up an individual's intelligence. First, the analytical, componential facet. Second, the creative, experiential facet. Third, the practical, contextual facet. And I guess this would be enough to set context for my answer. But to further explain the concepts that will be used, I will discuss the three abilities that the Sternbergs argue to be the crucial factors to be successfully intelligent person, and also the four skills of successful intelligence theory. Now let's talk first the three abilities. First, Analytical intelligence or analytical facet. Analytical intelligence involves analyzation from the world itself, education, judgment, or comparison and contrast. Sternberg 2005, this is widely used in our schooling time. Actually, according to Sternberg, 1997, this is valued in tests and in classroom. This also sometimes becomes the basis of intelligence by other people. Sometimes the other abilities are forgotten and just focus on this ability. This is the ability I like the most. It is much like thinking out of the box. It is ability to pursue endless possibilities of thinking and imagination. And this also for me, it is the ability that could help an adult cook, excel, and develop to his her working environment. Sternberg 2005 put this, one that goes beyond the range of the unconventionality of things that surrounds the learner or the person. The creative facet involves the ability to react to novel situations and circumstances it is related to an individual's insightfulness, ability to quickly formulate plans and ideas engaged in and divergent thinking and apply their existing knowledge to new problems. Practical facet lastly, practical intelligence refers the ability to relate the learning or knowledge to the real world. According to Sternberg 2005, it involves individuals applying their abilities to the kind of problems that confront them in daily life, such as the job or in the home. And now, let's proceed the four skills of successful intelligence theory. First, 
memory skills help us recall facts and pieces of information it helps us retain the knowledge we acquire second analytic skills help the person determine if a certain idea is good third creative skills allow a person to come up with new idea usually to answer a need or solve a problem it makes one flexible and able to adjust changes in one situation fourth practical skills enable a person apply what one has learned it also allows one to carry through implement apply now that would be my discussion about Sternberg's successful intelligence theory.